Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade to macOS Sonoma from macOS Monterey. Uh, so this is um, useful if you want to upgrade your new way Hackintosh to Sonoma um, from the Monterey version. Um, it's pretty much the same as Ventura, except you need to change your boot arguments. So I'm going to go through that today. So you can see we're on the Monterey desktop. So all we need to do is make sure we have our EFI copied over. You can see we're running Monterey 12.7.1 um, and that's the version tag there. And all we're going to do, go to System Preferences. If I was you, just sign it of Apple ID if you've got it on. Uh, just because sometimes it can, you know, uh, it can stop the update uh, and say I failed you to prepare the update. So make sure you sign out of Apple ID and then go to Software Update. You'll see Sonoma there, hopefully. Just click on upgrade now. Read the terms, I'm going to agree to them. And basically, we're going to just wait for that to download. Depending on your internet speed, obviously this can take a varied amount of time. For me, it should take around 5-10 minutes, something of that nature. You can see it says around 3 minutes to download 6 gigabytes, so we're just going to wait for that. I won't keep you waiting and I'll pause the video here. So it's finished the download, uh, but you can see it's preparing. It won't take 30 minutes, it's just saying that. Uh, but once it has obviously done, I will obviously update you on what's next. So you can see a message has come up in the top right. Uh, your computer will restart to install update. So if we just click restart, that'll bypass. Um, and now, uh, in a few moments, we'll get a progress bar. Uh, now, I will um, skip the video forward to when we need to change the argument, so if I leave it at this point um, and then wait, uh, I'll tell you at once uh, we are ready to change the arguments into the new ones. So, when it gets to this screen, it will freeze. So, what we need to do is click stop on the VM and then we're going to use the new updated arguments. So, let me just grab these off screen, obviously, because I've not made the blog post yet. But if you go to the blog post, link in the description, uh, I will uh, show you uh, how to, obviously, um, get the arguments right for your system. So, there's an Intel ones and AMD. I'm on AMD, so I'm copying those. Link is in the description, and we're going to do nano forward slash etc forward slash pve forward slash qemu server forward slash and then the VM ID, mine's 109. So that's in the shell, put that command in, pressing enter. Comment that out with the hash key. Right click and paste to put the new ones in. Control X, Y and enter. You can see it's saved. Now if we boot up the virtual machine again. Uh, give it a few moments of course. Once we've done that, uh, shortly we will see. Um, if we press enter on the installer, you can see now there's a progress bar. So we're going to wait for that. Obviously it's going to take around 35 minutes to actually uh, install. Uh, but soon we should be on the desktop. So you can see the virtual machine is just rebooted. If we press enter, you can see it begins to start to boot. Sometimes it does boot loop three or four times. Not to worry, just keep pressing enter on that boot prompt. Basically, this is due to it um, actually installing all the correct texts uh, that, that are bundled with the update. Um, of course, uh, upgrading to Sonoma, you lose support for Fenvy cards and Broadcom cards, uh, that, that being Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. There are a few patches, but obviously uh, do note that. Also, it's a bit unstable compared to Ventura 2. You can see we're on the lock screen. If I just log in, we'll be presented with the desktop, which is absolutely brilliant. Now, a lot of you also ask why the desktop background is white um, when you first update. That's due because you've not got a GPU pass through. So, if you pass through a GPU, that will go away. So, we'll wait for this to log in. So, you can see we've got some general questions. If I just click on next, I'm not interested in all the diagnostic stuff. Um, but basically, you can see we're loaded onto the desktop. Like I said, the background's white because of no GPU uh, pass through. Um, I would pass through a GPU, but it makes it more difficult for me to record. I'd rather have everything in one place for you. Anyway, what I'll do, wait for the menu bar to load. You can see already Sonoma is a bit unstable. Uh, but if you want to update, you can. 
So we'll go to about this Mac. You can see now Sonoma 14.1, uh, which means we've successfully upgraded. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please do leave a like and consider subscribing as obviously we're nearly at 6,000 subscribers, which is great. Also, if you do like these free tutorials, it do, they do take a while to make uh, and a lot of research out of my own time and tour my Discord moderator's time. So if you would like to donate, please do consider doing that from the link below. Also, check out HSVE1, uh, a cloud hosting service, which is obviously in the description below too. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.